So you may have seen in recent headlines stories about the ketogenic diet being dangerous, but is that really true? Find out in today's video. Hi, my name is Stephanie from Fast Track to Health Wellness Center. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing so I can keep you up to date on the latest in natural health, wellness, and weight loss. So I have a Facebook group called Fast Track to Weight Loss, and I did a recent poll to find out why some of the participants in the group were not really saying much in comments or posting about their weight loss and such things. So when I asked in the poll, what are some of the reasons, one of the main reasons I got was that people are afraid to try keto and intermittent fasting. And then a few days ago, I saw a story about uh, Jillian Michaels claiming that the ketogenic diet is dangerous. So I wondered if, you know, perhaps people are getting the wrong information from celebrities uh, about this diet. So I wanted to address that in today's video. So in Jillian's video, she talks about the keto and, and gives her opinions on why it may or may not work in some cases. And I'm not gonna go through the entire uh, points that she made one by one. I just sort of wanna make my own points about it. Um, so, you know, one thing I really believe in is that diet bashing isn't such a great thing to do because there really is no one diet that's right for everybody. We're all biologically different and individual. So one diet may work for one person and not for the next. So to say that one diet is just overall bad, I don't agree with doing it that way. Now, as far as the ketogenic diet goes, I think there are many advantages to it and I definitely do not think it's dangerous or unsafe. And I personally have seen results with it in my own clinic, in my own personal life. Now, I personally don't follow the ketogenic diet 100% all of the time, and I don't think that people should just do one thing all of the time, but there are a lot of great concepts that come along with the ketogenic diet. Um, first of all, you know, we're not getting enough healthy fats in our diet overall because fat has been the enemy going back many, many decades. We've all been afraid to eat fat and we've just been basically eating more sugar. And that has led to many of the epidemics that we have today with obesity, heart disease, and many other things. So fat is not the enemy. And I believe it's becoming a little bit more clear, but it's still not mainstream information. And I think that's where people get tricked into thinking that, that fat is still scary and dangerous and we shouldn't be eating it. So, you know, that's, that's one of the misconceptions I think that surround the ketogenic diet. For people who are doing it, doing it successfully, obviously they, they know better, but for many people, they're just afraid to eat more fat. They think it's gonna make them fat. But when we, in reality, it's eating all the extra carbs and sugar that, that are making us uh, have weight issues. So overall, I don't think that keto is bad. What about you? Are you doing keto right now? Tell me in the comments below, I'm curious. Have you tried keto? Are you doing it now? Is it working for you? So I have come across people that it's not working for especially uh, a lot of women. Now there are different reasons for that. Like I said, we're all biologically individual. So, you know, there's no one right way for everyone. But, you know, for some ladies, it, you know, they have a hard time with it. Um, and I think also a lot of people when they get started, they may not know exactly how to do it. And they might be going overboard with the amount of fat that they eat. Because when you think of keto, the first thing that pops into people's minds is, oh, I can eat all the bacon I want and all the cheese I want. Well, not exactly. Uh, I think if you overdo it with eating too much fat, then you're not gonna burn your own body's fat at some point. I think in the beginning, it's important to slowly eat more fat and incorporate healthy fats into your diet. But if you continuously eat too much fat, you're never gonna really burn your own body fat if weight loss is your goal, obviously. Now, there are other reasons to do keto. And the original reason was to help with uh, brain function and epilepsy and things like that. But yeah, weight loss obviously right now is the big reason that many people are doing keto. So like I said, now there are other reasons why it may not work for people if you have like liver or gallbladder issues or you don't have a gallbladder. Fat digestion may be compromised for you, so adding in the extra fat might make it a little more challenging. Now obviously there are ways around that. There are certain supplements that you can take, et cetera, et cetera. But like I said, it, it may not necessarily work for everyone, whereas there are people right now that are really thriving. And what we do a lot in our weight loss group is we combine the best of the keto diet with fasting and intermittent fasting. And when you do both of those together, 
the results are better than if you did fasting with any other type of diet. So we're seeing really good results when you combine the two concepts. And my personal opinion is like fasting is really one of the keys to making everything work. So dietary wise, you know, I like to incorporate flexibility into people's eating plans. I don't believe that carbs are always the enemy and I think people should eat carbs now and then, especially healthier carbs. I don't think they should eat the, the junkier carbs like, like refined sugar, but I do think carbs do have a place in people's diets now and then. Um, so another thing I wanted to mention, and, and I know with people like Jillian Michaels, she's really enc encouraging people, you know, that exercise is like the most important thing. And yes, I agree that exercise is important, but I do think that what you eat is a bigger piece of the puzzle, especially if you're trying to lose weight. So in my opinion, I think it's about 75, 80% diet and what you eat and about uh, 25% or 20% of exercise. So exercise is great, it helps, but you can't work out enough to fix a bad diet. So I think having a good diet and figuring out what's right for you is always the best way to go. Now in our clinic, we help people figure out exactly what that means because like I said, there really is no one diet that's right for everybody. So we do a, a very individualized program working with people one-on-one. -on -one. We look at their hormones, we look at their toxin level, we look at various factors and to help them find the right plan that works for them. So basically I wanted to let you guys know that fat's not the enemy and there are different plans for different people. So I encourage you, if you haven't tried keto or keto-like concepts, you might wanna give it a chance, even if you don't follow it to the T and you don't eat the exact percentages of, of macros, it's still something worth trying because there are a lot of benefits to it and especially weight loss. So if you haven't already tried it, you might wanna consider it. So in any case, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for your time and I will see you in the next video. Thanks, bye.